Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, hello, hello. It's me. I'm back again. Did you miss me? Oh, gosh. It's been two and a half months since I recorded a full frontal, and that's a really, really long time. Um, as you probably figured, I needed a break. I just needed to step away from music for a little bit and clear my head. Uh, this happened before. There have been times in my life I said, oh, I'm done with music. I'm too frustrated. I'm not seeing what I want to happen. I'm walking away. So that didn't happen this time. I know better. I know me. Music's in my blood. I always come back to it. So I just needed a little break. Um, so what have I been doing the last few months? It's interesting. Uh, you know, after my show, I had a successful birthday show and it felt really, really good. I made some decent money for the show, right? And said, okay, how can I duplicate that and make it happen again and again? And it was hard enough just putting on that one show. I don't know if you know what goes into it, but it's a lot. Um, and I just started to think about, you know, all of the albums I put out, all, all the different things I've tried with social media and marketing. I mean, I've bought courses. I, if it's out there, I've read about it. I've tried it. And for some reason, I just, I just have not been able to get the results I wanted. So one thing that's apparent to me is I love the creative process of making music. I really love that. That's what gets me going. I hate the business side of it. I do not like marketing. I do like business. So I need this year. My goal is to find somebody else to do that for me. So that's number one. Uh, number two is, you know, it, when it comes down to it, music is a business and you know, it takes a lot of money to produce a record. And I can tell you, honestly, I have eight records, eight albums. I have not come close to breaking even even on any of them, not even close. Uh, so it's just been a losing business again and again and again and again. And I'm like, that's just stupid, right? To keep on doing the same thing. So I just, I, I needed time to uh, step away from that and figure out what the hell I'm doing. Uh, but something interesting happened. I kept hearing about Bitcoin and Bitcoin, all this stuff about how people are making money in Bitcoin. And I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about financial markets, investing. But I started to learn more about it and I got really interested and I became fascinated with it. And pretty, just pretty soon I was obsessed. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to learn more about this. Uh, so I'll tell you in November, I, I took the amount of money that I would, the same amount of money it would take me to record a record. I took this out of my savings. That's, that's how I make my music, folks. If, my, if I had savings, they're dwindling because I invested in music. So instead of investing it in an album, I invested it in uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. And what happened was after four weeks, that same amount of money that I would have made a record with, I doubled it, which pretty much means I made more money in a month than I made in the last seven years making music. Not a lot of uh, effort went into it, just a little bit of reading, a little bit of information pumping in my head. I didn't really know what I was doing and I was still able to be more successful than I have been in almost a decade of putting my heart, soul, time, energy, effort, my everything into my music career. And that caused me pause. I think it would cause anybody pause if you're honest with yourself. I'm like, whoa, what am I doing? Um, so maybe I just need to come at music from a different perspective. I Obviously, I don't like the business part of it, and obviously, I'm not good at it. So hey, maybe if I can make enough money through some other means and afford to live comfortably, uh, then I could just make music just for the sheer joy of it, and I think that's what I'm kind of I'm kind of going towards. I need to stop throwing money uh, into a into a losing business. So I don't know what that means for the future right now. As you know, I have thousands of songs that I've written. I have so much content I want to put out, and I feel like I need to put out. Uh, but I'm just at a, I'm at a I'm at a crossroads. I'm at a juncture. I don't know. But the creativity is not going to stop. In fact, I'm performing this weekend at a fundraiser. Looking really forward to that. My first performance of 2018. And it's going to be a brand new song that nobody's heard before. Well, one person. That's you, Cameron. Uh, so anyway, Happy New Year. Hope you had a good holiday. I'm still here. I know I haven't put out any content and I apologize. I'm going to uh, do my best to get back on track and put out the, some more regular content for those of you who watch. All four of you, all five of you, I don't know who's out there. Uh, so leave me a message, say hi, say you're following or send it to somebody else. That's how this all happens. It's always work, all with word of mouth. Um, I can tell you that after my last show, I, I felt very invigorated because uh, the, I had such a positive response. So thank you, everybody that came out to that. And hopefully there will be more in 2018. OK, this is going longer than I wanted. Just wanted to say I'm back. All right. Until next time.